Hello, Special Olympics Missouri athletes, coaches, family members, and friends. Over the past couple of years, you may have heard of us reference a program called Athlete Leadership, or ALPS as it's commonly referred to, or even heard us reference some athletes as athlete leaders. If you've ever wondered what that program is, or how you might be able to get involved, this video is going to share with you the perspective of athlete leaders, mentors, and family members involved in the program. You'll get to hear directly from the participants on what athlete leadership means to them and why it's an important part of the Special Olympics movement going forward. Athlete leaders will talk to you about what classes they've taken. Mentors will speak to this being a unique volunteer opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with an athlete. And family members will speak to how they've seen their child change since first becoming involved with athlete leadership. So to kick us off, let's hear from Stephanie Luttrell who graduated with a communications degree from Athlete Leadership in 2019. I have learned um, to become a better person, to become a better speaker, to be able to speak, be a better speaker, um, to speak better, um, to speak out more, get others involved. My favorite part would have been probably just learning from a lot of this. Um, just going out and just speaking to others. Being more comfortable um, with myself in speaking. I think athletes should get more involved with athlete leadership because being a leader is awesome um, and being able to, it's not just about um, thinking about being about homework. It's not about that. It's about being able to be out of your comfort zone and actually becoming an athlete leader. It's about becoming um, about being a role model and becoming an advocate for others and uh, becoming out of your comfort zone and wanting to become an, a leader for another ath other athletes out there. The classes in technology I took were email and web search, which is the first class. I took photography, which I like taking pictures, and that helps with the making videos. Uh, I took phone photography, and I also took videography, behind the scenes for videography, because that helps with making videos. The best part about it is, I don't, I found out that I really love to make videos for some of them. And I really think it would be great for other athletes to come check out the Athlete Leadership Program or ALPS to find out what you really have a passion for and what you really would like to do and find out maybe there's some things that you didn't even think you could do or would even like. And there's a lot of fun things we do. Some of the classes I have taken in the technology major are internet and email, social media, Google Slides, and photography. I have chosen technology as my major because it is also a part of my job. I love showing my creativity through technology. I would love to show more of my creativity through this program. In social media, I learn how to research nonprofit organizations, and I learn how to create a slideshow at a state event. In Google Slides, I learned how to create a PowerPoint by telling a story about Special Olympics. I also learned how to add anima animation as well. In photography, I learned how to 
take better pictures of animals, sports, color, black and white, and buildings. In internet and email, I learned how to create a Gmail account. I also learned how to research Special Olympics fundraising projects. My favorite part about being in Alps is enter the Alps, Alps and Capstone. I would say athletes should get involved with with this program because it is a great, great educational program. You can get out of your com comfort zone and interact with other athletes. Within this program, you get to create a capstone project and showcase what you have learned in each each of your classes that you have taken. I chose coaching because I learned so much from my swim coaches. I imagine myself as a swim coach. I want to take the skills my coaches taught me and teach those skills to the next generation of swimmers in Special Olympics. If you put all three classes together, I learn that I'll become a, a good leader and coach. Since I was 12, I always listen to and respect, them, respect my coaches. I learned that being a good coach means I listen and Listen to athletes, then respect them too. My favorite part of Alps is meeting the new next generation of coaches. My other favorite part about Alps are my friends who took the same classes. If you are an athlete and you want to give something back, to Special Olympics for all they have done, all they have done for you. If they help to make you a special person that you always dreamed to be, then you should be an athlete, a leader, or join Alps as well. Why I chose coaching is because of a, a coach that has been a big impact on me and I wanted to be a coach to lead other athletes by example and be a great role model for them. Some of the classes I took to get my major in coaching was intro to coaching, sports lessons, sports pathology, and sports etiquette. It teach me how to become a coach in the different steps you have to take to get there. Coaching is super fun and you get to be around other athletes that look up to you. I also learned that coaching does a lot of stuff behind the scenes like paperwork, um, scheduling practices, and all your medical forms and stuff like that. Some of my favorite parts about being in Alps University is that friendships that I made and being a part of a fun group and getting involved with special Olympics at a higher level and being a and else has helped me to be able to do something I always wanted to do was to become a coach and to be a role model for other athletes. You should get involved in athlete leadership because you're surrounded by other athletes that are just like you and and you can be a better leader for your community and for your team. And you can make good friends, learn so much over a weekend. That was Stephanie, Alan, Amanda, Chris, and Anna talking about their experiences in athlete leadership so far. Before we check in with other athlete leaders and finally meet a mentor and a family member, I wanted to give you all a little bit more background information about athlete leadership. 
So we host two of these weekend trainings, Friday through Sunday, every year, one in the spring and one in the fall. Our spring one has traditionally been usually in March at Mizzou in Columbia, and our fall one uh, has traditionally been at University of Central Missouri in Warrensburg. As you've heard from some of our athlete leaders so far, there are a wide variety of different classes that you can take within the Athlete Leadership University model. Those include public speaking, internet and email, photography, videography, coaching, personal finances, nutrition, exercise, how to serve on a board of directors, and many, many more. But athlete leadership isn't easy. Talk to any of the athlete leaders that you know, and they'll tell you that the classes will push you and make you try new things. But isn't that something you already do in your sports on a regular basis? You train to become a better athlete in your sport? Athlete leadership is the same thing. Athlete leadership helps you train to find either a new hobby or build upon a skill that you already have. If you aren't sure if athlete leadership is for you, that's okay. I'd like to invite you to come out and just try the eight-hour introduction course at our next Alps University. This is the best way to just dip your toe in the water and see if it's something you'd like to continue. Take the first course and try it out. There's no obligation to continue with it if it's not really something you're interested in. But we believe that this program is for everyone with an intellectual disability. If you're willing to put in the work to try and learn new things, then we as staff members and volunteers running the program, we are willing to put in the work to be with you every step of the way. I'll check back in with you guys later, but for now, let's go back to some athlete leaders and have them talk about governance and health. Some of the classes I took in the governance major was boards committee and input councils. And the reason why I chose to do, this, do, the, do that major is that way I can learn, be able to be, be able to hold my own input council meetings, and also be able to sit on a board or a, or a committee. And my and my favorite, my favorite type, my favorite uh, part of the of being an Alps in athlete leadership and doing the government major is being able to meet other people that are doing Alps University and also and also being able to learn new things and the reason why other athletes should athletes should be able to take part in the athlete leadership is so that way they can come out of their comfort zone and be able to learn how to be a leadership outside of sports activities i took in board and communities and videography why do you chose this major I chose this major because I was willing to learn ideas, planning, boards, the communities, working, other, working with other people. Uh, what do you learn from these classes? Lots of communications, focusing, planning, work it out to work it out to other people. What was your favorite part about being in Alps and specifically? Specifically, the governance major. My favorite part of ALPS is stuff to plan, what's the update, ideas, and sharings. And the last one, why should athletes get involved in athlete leadership? Because it might be interesting, learn a lot of things, and fun. I took nutrition and you, lifetime health, in health and fitness, health and bachelor in exercise science. I love helping others and being more healthier. I learned what, what is portion sizes. My favorite part is seeing Brandon dressed up in a tutu. My favorite part of being in a health measure major is Teaching others how to be healthier. You will learn so much more and get to know other people. And it is lots of fun. And we get to go to different colleges. I'm also a health major 
in Alps Athletic Leadership Programs in Special Olympics Missouri. I chose this major because I felt it was important for myself and for the other athletes to learn about health, what to eat, what to how to exercise. Um, I felt that it was really important because when I competed in Special Olympics National Games 2018, I just ate everything inside and did exercise and didn't train. So then I decided to do something about it. I learned from these classes that I took is what to eat, how to exercise, what kind of exercise I should do, keep a food diary, that usually helps. My favorite part being Alps is meeting new athletes and meeting new instructors and of course seeing the SOMO staff. Specifically the health major, um, it's it's really it's really really interesting to learn in health um, to see what you're missing, uh, get some refreshments, get some refreshing courts courses. Why should athletes get involved in athlete leadership? Uh, I believe and I feel very strongly about this that ath other athletes should get involved in athlete leadership because you can make new friends, meet new people, meet some of the staff, some SOMO staff. Um, you make friends, make new friends, say hi to your old friends, and you can learn new things. And you can be like in like a college, in a college, um, college atmosphere. So I hope you get involved. Hope to see you soon. Hope you see you there. Bye. Thank you to Tim, Mary, Lynn, and Lena for telling us a little bit more about governance and health courses. I hope by now that you are seeing that Athlete Leadership is a program where people with intellectual disabilities can take classes in whatever they're interested in. Just because we don't currently offer a class doesn't mean that if you have a really good idea for something specific that we couldn't try that down the line. So let us know. Athletes, this is your chance. This is your chance to learn something new. This is your chance to take on more responsibilities. And this is your chance to help lead either your teams and or your communities in some way. Before we move on to the final two videos, I'd like to mention that athlete leaders don't have to go through this program by themselves. There's a unique volunteer opportunity that allows volunteers to pair with an athlete leader in a more one-on-one -on -one volunteer experience. This is called a mentor. The mentors aren't there to do the work for the athlete leader. They're only there to assist when the athlete leader asks for help. This is a pair. You're a team. You're in this together. You attend the classes together and you complete the homework for each class. After we hear from a mentor, we'll talk to a family member who can speak to how their child has grown as a person and as a leader since their involvement in athlete leadership. I joined the program in June of 2016 when my athlete was needing a mentor um, for the weekend because her mentor was no longer able to come. Being a mentor has been a great experience. We have had our challenges along the way but that has only grown us as athlete leaders and mentors. We have learned many new skills and have had a great time doing it. During this, I've learned so much about my athlete leader. She is willing to take on any challenge given to her and loves to do homework. She is probably the only, one of the only people I know that gets very excited to get her homework and get started right away. My athlete has grown so much during this entire process. She has graduated once majoring in technology and just finished taking her last class for her second degree. She has her final project to finish and will graduate with her second degree in coaching in the summer of 2021. She has become so much more confident in asking and answering questions and is truly excited for these weekends of Alps. From the beginning, when I was trying to make her talk out loud, she is now helping teach classes during the weekends. She has taught a couple times and has done a wonderful job. I think people should become mentors for Alps because it is such a great time 
to see the growth of an athlete from when you first start to when they are graduating is such a rewarding and amazing experience. It is definitely a lot of work, but I promise you, it is also fun and exciting time. For those, for many of the athlete leaders, such as mine, this is their college experience, and this program is very important to them. ALPS has been a wonderful experience for me and are some of my favorite weekends of the year. Please join the Athlete Leadership Program as a mentor. Thanks. Krista, my daughter, has grown tremendously in the Athlete Leadership Program since she became involved, which was a few years ago. And currently, uh, she is even working on her capstone. She's getting ready to graduate probably next year. But what she's done, she's taken communication course and her minor would have has been the uh, technology course. And she's been at uh, Missouri University at Columbia. She's been at Truman State University to take some of these classes. And I guess the highlight has been in the uh, communication class that she was taken through the cable access TV with the director, Sean Brown, and of course, Brian, uh, Brandon Shatzik and she knows every part of you know producing the uh, Somo TV show. When she started the program, she's taken probably thousands of pictures on her iPhone, but since she's been part of the Athlete Leadership Program, it's like everywhere she goes, she wants to take pictures. But she's even been involved in taking uh, some, some shots from a SLR, which she's never in her life ever handled, but she did that during a summer game. Any parent at all with their ch with their child, no matter what level that they're on, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what what they bring to the table. That I guarantee you, that if you go through the pro if you go through the program, and you do your homework, you will be successful at whatever major or minor that you choose. I definitely just ask every parent to get involved. Well, that's it. That's that's athlete leadership in a nutshell. We hope that after listening to all these athlete leaders, the mentor, and a family member, you now better understand what athlete leadership programs is all about. I'm sure you still have questions, um, but I would suggest that you check out our website below. And if you still have um, questions after that, feel free to contact me directly. Uh, the website also has a list of our upcoming training dates. So please check out the website and take care.